Hey, what is going on? It is your boy Sauce Robert. I am here and I'm getting prepared for the quarantine. I hope you are too. That COVID is everywhere. It's day one. On the first day, what you need to do is try and preserve the food. All right, get your food ready today and this week. I'm going to be showing you all the things you need to do to prepare for long term quarantine. Item number one that you need is pickled vegetables, and here's how you make them. All right, what vegetables are you going to pickle? It doesn't matter, the recipe works for everything. All right, I had some baby carrots, I have peeled and uh, cut up broccoli stems. I'm using those, I want to store those for long term. All right, I put them in a Prego bottle. Can you see this? All right, we don't have time to go to the store and buy up all the mason jars. All right, I had an empty bottle of Prego. All right, you put them in there, you stuff it in there, set it off to the side. Next, you're going to need to heat a pot. Okay, you're gonna need to add two cups of vinegar and a cup of water. Okay, majority vinegar keeps the bacteria away, makes it nice for long term. Okay, heat that up. Okay, you're gonna add salt, you're gonna add your seasoning. All right, we're not dying, we're going into quarantine. You want the food to taste good. All right, I added a little garlic uh, powder and a little bit of onion powder. All right, get it nice and seasoned up. Okay, you're gonna mix it. Okay, mix all that flavor together. Now, once it comes to a boil, you're gonna pour it over the carrots and broccoli. All right, don't worry about spillage. Okay, we're in a rush. We gotta get these things ready. This is day one. We're preparing for long term. Okay, get it in there, seal it off, throw it off in some ice water. So, if you're gonna put it in your refrigerator, you have to chill it immediately. Okay, you don't want botulism. Okay, that'll kill you. All right. Cool it down fast, okay? Otherwise, leave it at room temperature. Store it that way, it lasts for years. Unless you open it, then you have a few months to eat it, all right? Here's the final product. I'm not gonna open it until I need it to have rations, but when the time comes, I'll dive into it. All right, later on this week, I will show you how to make jerky, all right? People don't think about meat long term, but that spoils pretty quick. Okay, you want to dry it out and get that ready to go. I'll be showing you that on Wednesday. But if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> uh, Y'all stay safe out there. All right, I know we can't find toilet paper right now, but your boy didn't got himself a bidet. You know, we're going to get it ready. Okay, we're going to have a good time. All right, catch you later. Peace.